isang matangumpay na pagpapalang muli sa inyo. Sa aking mga kamatinik, handa na ba kayo? Kunin na ang inyong mga gagamitin sa ating aralin. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Ulaso. Sama-sama tayo. Matuto. Before we begin, let's review some of your past lessons. Because of that, get ready for Matanong! How do you write this number in words? Is it A or B? You got it! It's letter B! Congratulations! In order to read and write the decimal number correctly, let us go back to the place value chart to represent the decimal number property. A decimal point separates the whole number and the decimal part of a decimal number. It is read as end. Thus, the decimal number 25.0009 is read as 25 and 9 ten thousandths. Now, let's start our new lesson. Get yourself learning module in Mathematics 6 for us to Mathalakai! Welcome to our lesson for the day. We will talk about adding and subtracting decimals and mixed decimals through ten thousandths. Adding and subtracting decimals is similar to the process of adding and subtracting whole numbers. Decimals through ten thousands have four digits after the decimal points. Here are the steps on how to add and subtract decimal numbers through ten thousands. Example number one. Add twenty-five hundreds to three hundreds and to seven hundred fifty-six ten thousands. To add decimal numbers, step 1. Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Step 2. Write zeros in the empty decimal place values, if needed, so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Add as with whole numbers. Start from the right or once digit. Step 4. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically, aligned to all the add-ins. So, the sum is 3,556 ten thousands. Are you having fun? Now, let's try some more. What is the difference when 234 and 435 thousands subtracted from 654 and 8 tenths. To subtract decimal numbers, step 1. Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. In this case, the minuend is right after from the word subtracted from. Step 2. Write zeros in the empty decimal place values, if needed so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Subtract as with whole numbers. Perform subtraction with regrouping if needed as shown in this example. Remember that when regrouping, we borrow 10 from the left digit. But we can't regroup from 0. But we can make a 0 into a 10 by regrouping it first, then carry on normally, like what happens to 800 becomes 700s, 910s, and 10 ones. We can now subtract starting from the right or ones digit. Step 4. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to the minuend and subtrahend. So, the difference is 420 and 365 thousandths. Now, let's try some more. We will see if you can answer our next task. Join with me and say, Matry nga! 
What is the sum of eight thousands plus two hundreds plus eighty-seven ten thousands plus thirty-nine hundreds plus three thousand six hundred sixty-one ten thousands? Again, let's follow the steps in adding decimals. Step one: arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Step 2. Write zeros in the empty decimal place values, if needed, so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Add as with whole numbers. Start from the right or ones digit. Step 4. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the addends. So, the sum is 7,928 ten thousands. Did you get the correct answer? Good work! Let's have another one. Take away 235 and 9,864 ten thousands from 568 and 45 hundredths. What is the result? Step 1. Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. In this case, the minuend is right after from the word subtracted from. Step 2. Write zeros in the empty decimal place values, if needed, so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Subtract as with whole numbers. Perform subtraction with regrouping if needed as shown in this example. Since the digits in the minuend are smaller than the subtrahend, we need to regroup some of the digits. Step 4. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to the minuend and subtrahend. So the answer is 332 and 4,636 ten thousandths. Did you get the correct answer? I knew you could do it. Let's have one more try and you will have it. Increase 145 and 64 hundredths by the difference of 79 and 32 and 466 thousandths. What's the answer? We have two operations to get the answer. From the keywords increase and difference. What are the two operations? Exactly! Addition and subtraction. Let's create a mathematical sentence to know what to do. 145 and 64 hundredths plus the quantity of 79 minus 32 and 466 thousandths. First, find the difference of 79 and 32 and 466 thousandths. Arrange the digits and columns and align the decimal points. Second, Write zeros in the empty decimal place values so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Third, since some of the digits of the minuend are smaller than the subtrend, regrouping is needed. The difference is 46 and 534 thousandths. Fourth, Add the difference to 145 and 64 hundredths. Again, arrange the digits and columns and align the decimal points. We have the answer 192 and 174 thousandths. Did you get the correct answer? That's the way to do it. Now you've figured it out. I hope that you really understand the steps in adding and subtracting decimal numbers. And I hope you will matandaan!
Again, how do we add and subtract decimals and mixed decimals through ten thousands? To add or subtract decimal numbers. Step 1. Arrange the digits and columns and align the decimal points. Step 2. Write zeros in the empty decimal place values, if needed, so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Add or subtract as with whole numbers. For subtraction, regrouping should be done if the digits in the minuend are smaller than the subtrahend. Step 4. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the given numbers. This time, test yourself. It's Mathematics time! Get a piece of paper, a pencil, or ball pen. Apply what you have learned by solving the following questions. Be ready! What is the sum of 45 and 363 thousandths? 90 and 4,506 ten thousandths? And 12 and 45 thousandths? Number 2. What is the difference when 12 and 3,456 ten thousandths subtracted from 89 and 500? Number 3. When 562 and 456 thousandths added to 212 and 536 ten thousandths, what is the answer? Number 4. Take away 34 and 4,568 ten thousandths from 79 and 56 hundredths. What is the result? And number 5. What is the answer when 145 and 63 hundreds increased by the difference of 236 and 14 hundreds and 56 and 3456 ten thousandths? Let us check your answers. Number 1. The sum is 147 and 8,586 ten thousands. Number 2. The difference is 76 and 7,044 ten thousands. Number 3. The answer is 774 and 5,096 ten thousands. Number 4. The result is 45 and 1,032 ten thousands. Number 5. The answer is 325 and 4,244 ten thousands. Now, how many of you got a score of 4 or 5? It's a pleasure to teach when you work like that. Congratulations! <laughs> to those who got three below, do not worry. Go back to your self-learning module and answer the learning task. Not 
Matapos na naman ang ating aralin. Naway kayo'y may natutuan sa ating mga tinalakay. Muli, ako ang inyong, Maestro Olaso, na nagsasabing, ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging matinik sa mathematics.